G'day mates and welcome back. We started our day bright and early launching from Lee, then diving the Hauraki Gulf. Let's go! Davey and I are diving off our friend Dan's new boat, which is yet to be named but soon to be christened with a deck full of delicious fish. The Viz is the best we've seen in a long time, and being mid-spring the water is starting to warm up, so we're pretty excited, we gear up, we get straight in. I simply can't pass up a Trevally. I'm sure this will be a theme in videos to come. I've always got a treve kicking around in the chilli bin, a delicious insurance policy in case I don't manage to shoot another fish. The general theme of this video is a bit funny. Uh, you'll kind of see more shots being fired than fish being landed. It's entertaining for you, but it's pretty painful for us. Speaking of painful, let's rip the band-aid off and head into some absolutely humiliating footage of me trying to shoot this boar fish, which of course is the target species on this dive trip. When targeting boar fish, you'll generally find them sitting out like this, just out in the sand, not too far away from the weed line. They're usually pretty easy to approach from above in their blind spot, so you can kind of sneak in a shot through the head from above. Well, that's how it's supposed to go anyway. Luckily for me, the boar hasn't completely spooked and he's giving me another go. I quickly reload and decide to leave my shooting line as is. It's a bit untidy, but she'll be right. I get a wee bit closer this time, lining up the thin target. I am in disbelief, missed again. I even made up the excuse of it being a thin target. Deja vu, I load up again for my third approach. Surprised the boarfish is actually still hanging around. I make things a bit easier this time for myself and go down on more of an angle so I can actually, you know, hit the target. I'm convinced this fish just felt sorry for me and it let me hit it. Thank you, fish. myself my gun isn't shooting straight so I go for another trebelli. Turns out it's fine. Something about a poor tradesman blaming his tools eh? There's a bommie nearby so I decide to poke my nose over the ledge to see if there'd be a snapper parked up. There is, there's a nice wee penny sitting there that I happily take. Back at the boat, Davy has a smile on his face and a story to tell. He was diving with two guns, which is standard practice for him, and after watching, you'll see why. I had the two guns, so I pulled them both back, grabbed the big one, turned my GoPro on, I looked back and there was just this little gap in the kelp and they were like right deep in it. And as I was lining up on the big male, the female swam out and swam in front. So I was like, oh, oh I'll yes. take two then. Slap. <laughs> Shot both of them, but I was obviously lined up on the male, so I didn't adjust for the female. So I hit her quite high. Yeah. I drilled the male. Yeah. He like stopped in his tracks. She started doing this whole spinning thing, come out the kelp. Yeah. So I swam up, pulled them both <laughs> out, and then she was just about to rip off. So I tore off, skidded into the kelp, but I had the second gun on the bottom, so I swam back oh, down the second gun. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the oh. second gun. 
Shot her again, bad shot as well. Also, just through the top, but it pinned in the sand, and you know they just stopped. Yeah, yeah. They, like threatened. Yeah. So I just dropped everything, let it go. I had this mad tangle with the two lines and that, so I just opened the belt rail. True. Bomb, bomb, boosted to the top. But I pulled the big one up, put him on the line, reloaded, went down, and as I was gonna go grab the female, I could see she just had like the tiniest little bit of meat holding on. Oh. She, I grabbed it and she tore off, Boof, but I had it in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Dan shot one as well, so that means all of us have got our target species for the day. Even if it did take a couple of shots. We pop around the corner for some new ground and we get escorted by some beautiful, playful dolphins. Probably the same ones that scared the living daylights out of me this morning. He's going to go and have a look for some crayfish and I'm going to go and try and find another snapper. Doesn't take me long before I'm distracted. I found this moray so I'm going to feed it some of the drama that I've shot. some trash lodged under the rocks here. There's net, heaps of rope, some plastic. None of this needs to be in the water. So I decided to gift it to Dan in lieu of petrol money. Thanks Dan. When I checked my half-assed burly I put down, the only thing that's there is a small bronzy. The first of the season. Being the absolute slayer he is, Davey's got a couple of bugs. <laughs> what do you got there, mate? Oh, a couple of dogs in there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Is that what you wanted to say? One million holes later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is quite so much better than wasting it, eh? You're welcome. I don't see the light now. We head to another spot where the current is running to look for a kingfish. I've got about half of my silver drummer left that I shot for Burley, so we start chumming that up while taking turns at being boatmen. It doesn't take long to bring this curious and hungry snapper in, which Davy shoots. I get back in the water with Dan while Davey is boatman. Dan shoots a nice kingfish and I stay nearby. This turns out to be quite lucky because the shooting line has broken on Dan. So I have to dive down and make a quick second shot. Really lucky that I managed to shoot this one. I was really paranoid I was going to miss it. And we end up landing the fish together.
good. Go to Greg, you'll see how that word is. It had just run up your line? Yeah, so did I. And then I looked and I thought, like, oh. And you're like, shoot it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it got like, it was It was going to boost. This has been a really successful dive day for us all. We couldn't have asked for better weather, visibility, fish, or company. We pull anchor and head back in the evening sun, thinking about what delicious meals we're going to make with our catch. The boarfish Davy spared was butterflied and cooked with garlic butter on the Traeger grill. It tasted incredible, especially with the fry bread and creamed power. My snapper and boarfish were both filleted and then the frames were utilised too. First, I turn the frames into stock by frying them, adding wine, water and veggies, and then letting them simmer. The stock was then made into a tomato and pumpkin soup by frying some tomatoes, adding garlic, topping it up with tinned tomatoes and then adding some pumpkin. With a nice fat slab of Dan's Kingfish, I did a beetroot marinade. I left it overnight and then ate it raw. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go over this method in another video because the recipe is actually a banger and it'll probably blow your mind like it did when I first tried it. Cheers. Anyway, cheers for watching, like and subscribe if you want and I'll catch you on the next one.